Hey guys, it's Alex from 7th Hour Films, back again with the Sarah Jane Adventures. Last time on the Sarah Jane Adventures, we had the Vault of Secrets. Uh, we had the return of Androvax as he was trying to save his species, which had crash-landed like 40 or 50 years ago, and was being locked in a vault by uh, these guys called the Shades. And if he tried to free his people, uh, it would end up destroying the Earth. Uh, hijinks ensued, and they did. he did get his species out, but Sarah Jane had to make sure that he didn't uh, destroy the Earth while doing it. So, yeah, that happened. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. Uh, this is where I say no spoilers in the comments whatsoever. Just don't. Um, and also, another reminder, next week we're back to our normal uh, Sarah Jane and then Doctor Who uh, time slots. So yeah, uh, with that being said, let's just go ahead and get right into this episode of the Sarah Jane Adventures. Here we go. Unit armed forces are converging on this house, Sarah Jane. What? Right now. Oh god, why is Unit here? I'm sorry, but it's my solemn duty to inform you that your friend, the Doctor is dead. Don't be stupid. He can't be. Um. Last Sunday at 1700 hours, the body of a Time Lord was returned to the Earth. Unit scientists have checked the DNA results and it's definitely him. D they have his DNA? I'm sorry, Miss Smith, for your loss. Sorry for the whole wide world because he's gone. The doctor's gone. Um. He's dead. It, no. We all know that's not true, but come on. Where's Rory and Amy? That's what I want to know. Death of the Doctor. <laughs> oh, God. I'll know. But I didn't... I didn't feel a thing. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't actually mean anything. No, maybe it does, though, because I don't think he's dead. He can't be. I mean... You have to question why wouldn't he regenerate. But I need to find out what's going on. We need to examine the body. Nice big push motor. Ah, do you see that? Static electricity. If you paid more attention in class. That was a bit more than static electricity. Hmm. Rocket X-15 will take the Doctor's body into space. Sealed inside a lead-lined coffin. Why? Then he'll be set free. Well, but just bury the guy. Very poetic. What about the TARDIS? Yeah. There's no sign of it. The body was found all alone. Where are his companions? That's a bad way to go. It's so bright. You spent up time. What do you mean? He's coming. Is that part of his... Is that when he, like, absorbed part of the, the power of the TARDIS? Can I see him? Yeah. I don't think he'd want to. Why not? That sounds to me like you're hiding something. Sarah Jane, he... He was hurt. Ah, uh, Tenet. Yeah. Yes! Ah. Oh. Yeah, both of them! Oh, sorry. Just ignore me, I brought flowers. Oh, thank you all! What, is that Finn Jones? Lovely. We never actually met, but it's Joe Grant, isn't it? Oh, oh shit. It's a long time since I've been called that. Actually, it's Joe Jones since I got married. I arrived just after you left. You Joe just Grant. Me <gasps> what they told me about you. Sarah Jane and you Joe. You must be Sarah, Sarah Jane Smith. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, Back from Terror of the Autons. Oh, I've got a son. He's called Luke. He's just gone to university. Uh, no, no dad on the picture. Ah, uh, playing the field. Good on you, girl. <laughs> not exactly, but no. Yeah, oh, it's not exactly like that. Who came back? The doctor. Yeah. Recently. Twice. Oh, four years ago. Yeah. I, I never saw him again. Oh, well, it was well, just a coincidence the first time um, we were yeah. investigating this case. The first time? You mean... Uh, once? Shit, that's awkward. Oh. Sarah... 
I mean, this is the first time someone other than Sarah Jane has been brought back from the classics. Yeah, it's funny. Well, and the Brigadier, but the Doctor didn't meet the Brigadier. I didn't feel a thing. Nor me. Not a peep. Do you think? Same as me. What? Because I think he's still alive. <laughs> yes! Find him! Open that goddamn co coffin! And the smell of Lepacho. Well, it reminds me of the... Of the royal palace. I went to Peladon. You never did. With the great beast, Agador? Same planet. Oh, <laughs> oh that's amazing. Okay. God, they're like sisters. I really wish she was here right now, because then you could explain this. Yeah. It's helping again. The TARDIS energy. I'm inside you, Nick. You got it. Yeah. Oh, honestly, you'll be fine. We do this kind of thing all the time. Hey, my grandma's handcuffed herself to Robert McGarvey. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You're the grandson of Joe Grant. There should be no... Should be no. You should be no stranger to this. Those are words. They're lying. That means the doctor's still alive. Yeah. Of course I'm still alive, Joe. I'd have thought that was obvious. Catch up. Oh, I beg your pardon. What? Is that you? Of course it's not. It's me. Oh. Oh my gosh. Good. So, gosh, that was different. Hello, everyone. Huh. Where are you? Where's Clyde? Come on, Ronnie, use your brain. Clyde and I swap places, yes? I'm with yeah. Clyde, so he's where I was, which means right now, ooh, he's in a lot of trouble. Doctor? Oh, he's not on the TARDIS? It's, it's you, isn't it? That's oh, him. Done it again. Hello, Sarah Jane. <laughs> he regenerated. That's the Doctor. What Doctor? The Doctor? My Doctor? Oh, you only going to change his face. I know. Boy, imagine if from my point of view, last time I saw you, Joe Grant, you were what, 21, 22? It's like someone baked you. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> Doctor. The death notice was released a little too soon, though I can rectify this immediately. By killing you! Oh, come on! Peace. No, come on, Doc, you can get out of that. No, cut crap. Crap. Ah! Oh my gosh, it... Oh, this is crazy. There. There! Alright. We're perfectly set up now. Ah! Oh my gosh, this is fucking crazy. This is crazier than the last one! Oh my gosh. Okay, so the doctor's not dead. This is so weird, man. Oh, he's not dead. Joe Grant is in this. Ah, uh, uh, King Vultures, and it's Matt Smith. Which, duh, of course it's Matt Smith. It's not like they're gonna bring back David Tennant. They have Matt Smith, they're gonna use Matt Smith. But just, ah! Uh, okay. Where's the TARDIS? Where's Amy? Where's Rory? That's what I want to know. Ugh. Alright. Shit, let's move on to part two. Here we go. Oh, he's switching back. Alright, is he going back? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you say come along, Smith. It's been a while since you guys have been off world. Oh, so many years since I was on another planet. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Man, are they short or is he tall? No, they have the TARDIS. That last body of yours, was he okay in the end? It always hurts, and uh so how did you end up in this place? I mean, he is okay. Uh, He's still with. him. Because I'm traveling with Amy now. I'm Rory. They got married, so I yeah. them off at a honeymoon planet, which isn't what you think. It's not a planet for a honeymoon. It's a planet on a honeymoon. It married an asteroid. <laughs> <laughs> and they nicked the TARDIS. The so that's why they're not here. Uh, fortunately, I had all this... Because you said you'd see me again. You did. I asked you, and you said yes. You promised. Mm. So I thought... Well... He's here now. 
I've waited my whole silly life. Oh, but you're an idiot. <laughs> well, there we have it. No, 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 but don't you see? How could I ever find you? You've spent the past 40 years living in huts, climbing up trees, tearing down <laughs> barricades. You've done everything from... I guess you're right. I don't look back. I can't. Yeah. But the last time I was dying, I looked back on all of you, every single one. Wow. And I was so proud. They just didn't show everyone. Oh. I didn't in the same place wasn't such a good idea. Look out, stand back. All right, good job. Ah, ventilation shots. That takes me back. Huh. You've got the sonic lips. Ah! Jeez. That's not good. Go, Sarah! They're roasting us! Lisa! You, you gotta go for them first. Even your eyes are different. It's weird, because yeah. I, I thought the eyes would stay the same, you know? Nope. Can you change colour, or are you always white? No, I can be anything. And is there a limit? <laughs> How many times can you change? 507. Oh. Um. I think he's just bullshitting. Well, I'll write that down anyway. The weave takes the memory out of your head and makes it real. Oh, that's clever. This device can build a physical key out of your thoughts. Huh. And then we can stop this. We can intervene to prevent the loss of life on the universal scale. Are you going to stop uh, that? It is a noble quest. Oh, shit. The key that was... They even brought in Troughton and Hartnell. I like that. Properly give the memory weave everything, every planet. No! Memory weave overloading. Oh. Oh. Overload it. Ah, oh, this is cool. Your funeral turns out to be ours instead. My ah! Doctor, it's my funeral. What? With the lead lime coffin. Oh, get in the coffin. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Louise. Now then, Smith and Jones. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I never realized that. That you encountered a rogue element, and the wide wing of the High Shanshi's nest sends apologies. Oh! No way. On top of everything else, you've got a talking computer. <laughs> it's like the Slavine. It's just one family. If that day ever comes, I think the whole universe might just shiver. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. Oh uh, yes, get those hugs. Bye, everyone. Oh, Sarah Jane. Man, this was awesome. Find yourself a fella. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Google TARDIS? Hey, it works. Well, no, I can't be sure, but there's a woman called Tebum in Australia fighting for Aboriginal rights. Aww. Ben and Polly in India running an orphanage there. Oh, there was Harry. Oh, I loved Harry. Aww. He's a doctor. And this couple in Cambridge, both professors, Ian and Barbara Chesterton. Who <gasps> has it? They've never aged. Not since the 60s. Uh, really? <laughs> I wonder. Aww. <laughs> With friends like us, he's never going to die, is he? No. I didn't think Ian and Barbara would get to me like that. Oh my god, I'm tearing up. I'm tearing up over these over his companions. I didn't oh fuck, I didn't recognize all of them. I didn't recognize all of them, but I I recognized Tegan. Oh, Harry, obviously. I recognized Ian and Barbara. Oh my gosh, man. How have they not aged? <laughs> I don't get that, but hey, cool. Cuz yeah, they, they were they were they were the originals. It, you know what? Hang on. There. 
feel like we need both. Can I? Yeah, like that. I feel like I feel like for this we honestly needed we need both. Now I will admit. Let's get a little shred of uh, transparency here. Oh my gosh! For a little shred of transparency, um, we gotta write this down. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's let me let me confess something to you. Yes, I did know that this episode involved the doctor. Because I can see titles. <laughs> I see these titles, yeah, you know, when I'm pulling them up. There's no way to avoid these titles. And it made sense as I was going through that, okay, the doctor will appear halfway through. He did that last time, too. So, I knew, I knew the doctor would show up, which is why, you know, I just went, just went behind the table and just put all this stuff down. Um, I wish I had thought to get the other one too because there was a lot of tenant in these episodes i have to say a lot of flashbacks even talk about the last one so so i did know i did know this was about the doctor it's just something i couldn't avoid unfortunately but um what i will say is that did not hamper my enjoyment of this episode, I have to say. Oh my gosh. This was like... Oh, wasn't there an episode... <sighs> what was the episode where I was like, this is a perfect love letter to classic Doctor Who? What episode did I say that was? I don't remember. I, I don't remember, but I, I, I remember saying that about one episode. It was either on here or on um, or on Doctor Who, but I do remember saying that, and honestly, this one kind of is too. This one is a lot, which is crazy because, you know, <laughs> it's so crazy because it's like, okay, we have Sarah Jane, who was, you know, a classic companion... And now she's on her new modern show. And we have Joe Grant, who was, you know, a classic companion, who's now in this show, you know, showing up in this show. And we have the Doctor, who is obviously, you know, this classic character, but it's Matt Smith's Doctor. You know, it's not even, it's not a Doctor that has had, like, any contact with Sarah Jane. You know, it would make sense if, like... Like, I don't know, it almost feels like, you know, oh, well, it would make more sense if this was David Tennant. Because, you know, we had we had that episode, we had School Reunion, then we had, you know, Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith and uh, The Stolen Earth and stuff like that. And he checked in on her before he regenerated. But it's like, no, it just, like, seamlessly, Matt Smith just fit right into there. Because this is the first, I think this is, like, the first time... Matt Smith has dealt with something not from his series, basically. Like, everything, like, okay, the Daleks... The Daleks might be the closest thing. Those the da Not the Power Rangers Daleks, but the ones that came before. Because those were straight from uh, the Stolen Earth as well. But other than that, he really hasn't dealt with... Um, he hasn't really encountered anything from the Tenet era... Or anything before that, honestly. You know, they've been cranking out a lot of new stuff, honestly. So, to see him... To see Matt Smith with Sarah Jane and Joe Grant, that's that's pretty cool, you know? And, and yeah, he does seamlessly fit in. Which is a good strength of Matt Smith. I will say, he seamlessly fit right into Doctor Who. So, I really do like that. Man. 
This this may actually be one of my favorite episodes. Despite the fact that I'm going to admit it, villains not very compelling, I will say. Villains not very compelling. They're, they're no tricksters. They're not going to, you know, I feel like the most memorable thing about them was that they were vultures, you know, these giant vulture puppet dudes. Um, which that was the only thing I was thinking like, you know, that looks like, like they looked straight at, oh, what the fuck? Shut up, laptop. What are you doing? Oh, I guess, well, my update finished. My laptop has been updating all day, so I guess it got done. That's good. Sorry about that. Um, what was, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, the vultures, the, the Shen sheath. Is that what they were called? The Shen Sheath? I'm still a little teary-eyed. I'm sorry. Sorry, you guys are probably... You guys were probably teary-eyed too about this episode. Probably more so than me. See, I'm teary-eyed. You guys you guys that have seen Classic Who are probably bawling your fucking eyes out. Ugh. I can't wait to watch more, man. I can't wait. That actually got me the most excited to watch more Classic Who. Which is weird, honestly, but yeah. Oh, God, why do I have to wait until... This is my own damn fault. <laughs> um, not really, but whatever. Uh, we're actually... We're going to get back to Classic Who after uh, Series 6. So, yeah. Um, yeah, because... And at that point, it's going to become weekly. Normally, we've been doing them uh, in between seasons. Um in between series but uh it's gonna start it's gonna be once a week excuse me um it's gonna be once a week uh starting at series seven of doctor who and uh for the first uh during series seven they are gonna be out of order we're gonna we're still gonna be taking our uh little journey through you know our sampling of every doctor again um but then uh uh right after series seven we're just gonna go right back and watch all the way through from that point on so yeah oh my fucking god i'm still oh my gosh ian and barbara got me the most which is crazy maybe because it's crazy that they're still alive you know which i have no idea if the actors are still alive i Ooh, i would doubt that uh, unfortunately but uh, but I like that, and I and I like they did have to throw in that little. It's like, oh, they haven't aged since the '60s, and it's like, what? It's like, can they be in an adventure then? Can we? I'm sure you would have to recast them, even if the actors are still alive. You'd still have to recast them to be young. But c can we have them in an episode? I I mean, I doubt we will. Oh, uh, I doubt that we will, and. You know, I know I know the show then I know the show ends in the middle of uh, season five, unfortunately. I don't, I don't know why Ian Ian and Barbara got me the most. I guess it's because they're the ones that I spent the most time with. Uh, of of all the Doctor's classic companions, you know, other than Sarah Jane because of her show. Ian and Barbara are the ones I've spent the most time with, uh, just from two episodes. So, yeah, I, so I don't know why Ian and Barbara really got me. Um, but yeah, okay. Oh, 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 oh! Did I even finish? Did I even finish my thought about uh, the Shen Sheath? I don't think I did. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, what I was going to say about the Shen Sheath was. They, oh, they, that puppetry, while it was interesting, I, I like the costumes, I think that was very interesting, it definitely felt like, all right, these are, like, the offhand villains, like, all right, you know, it's not that impress. like, it, it's, it's cool, I will say, I did like them, but it's like, all right, they, I don't know, it was, it was just kind of weird, it's like, you know, even, even for Sarah Jane, like, they were kind of odd, basically. You know, they didn't quite work, like, uh, even the Slitheen or anyone. And then... <sighs> and then, like, you know, when you bring in 
when you bring in the doctor and it's just like, yeah, if this was Doctor Who, I feel like they would have CG'd them. Maybe? I don't know, though. I don't know. Something something was off about them. When you look at them in comparison to Sarah Jane and the Doctor, like some, they didn't quite gel together, but they were fine. Um, they were no trickster. That, I mean, that was the best, that was the best thing about, well, not the best thing, but, like, one of the main things about, uh, the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith is that it totally makes sense that the, that the doctor would show up because, um, because it's the trickster. That is a doctor level threat, you know? But, and so then we got these guys, like, well, they're not really like the trickster. They're not, you know, doctor level threats. But it does make sense that the doctor had to come, you know, come help and save the day. And it is, it is amazing how seamlessly Matt Smith fit into there. So, the sign, the sign of a great actor right there. I, I love Matt Smith. I think he's a great doctor. So, yeah. I don't know where I would put him in relation to Tenet. But see, that's... It's so hard because there's they give such different performances that it's like I I don't know how I would I don't know how I would do that. So yeah. We haven't even started the notes. Have you realized that? We haven't even started the notes. This is crazy. Alright. Sorry, I had to I had to chug the last bit of that. I was thirsty, apparently. Stock notes. All right. So the doctor dead. That's that was interesting. So, it's interesting that he, that they specifically went for Sarah Jane and Joe Grant to get the TARDIS key, I will say. Um, yeah, I thought that was interesting. And so they orchestrated this whole funeral for the Doctor because that would be the best way to get them to, get them to show up. Um, that was interesting, an interesting way of doing that. Um, the problem, the problem with their plan, obviously, is that it would take a lot to really kill the doctor, and both of them know it. Sarah Jane and Joe both know that it would take a lot to actually kill the doctor, Especially because, you know, they should have questioned how did he die and not regenerate. It's kind of his whole thing. He regenerates. So, yeah. Um, and we got a bit of unit. Um, just a bit. Not, not really a ton, but we got a little bit of unit, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, and then... <sighs> and then the Shen Sheath. Again, they were interesting enough. They weren't the greatest villains we've ever had, but they served their purpose for the episode. So, yeah. Um, and it is interesting they even said, like, you know, they were just a rogue faction of the Shen Sheath. And, you know, like, they normally aren't like that. It's like, all right, that's kind of interesting. It's like the Slitheen, you know. The Slitheen is just one family... From Rexicorico Fallopatorius. So. So it's like, you know, you can't just say, well, everyone from that planet is evil. It's like, well, no, it's just the Slitheen and the Blathering. But, eh. So, yeah. So that was kind of interesting. You know, these undertakers of the universe. Um, and that's apparently, yeah, it's still like, that is still a thing. You know, they are actually the undertakers of the universe. Um, it's interesting. Uh, I wrote down he was, uh, the Doctor was found alone. 
No TARDIS, no Amy, no Rory. Um, yeah, I thought that was kind of interesting, too. Because that, that should also raise some red flags. Like, okay, where is the TARDIS? You know? Where is the TARDIS? Where is... You know, did he not have any companions? So that's interesting. Um, I love the inclusion of Joe Grant. And I've only seen her in one episode. I only saw her in uh, Terror of the Autons. Which I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, that was her first episode, I think. I think. I'm not quite certain on that. But, I don't know. I'd have to... I'd have to check. You... <laughs> I'm tired. I'm still teary-eyed. I might actually check the names. See, um, see if I can, um, hear who else they, she mentioned. Um. So, yeah. Um, I, I like the inclusion of Joe Grant. I think that's really fun. And especially because, you know... This is the first time, you know, Sarah Jane has been our only classic companion to come back. Like, okay, we did see the Brigadier, but but that was just for Sarah Jane. The Doctor didn't get to interact with him, unfortunately. Um, so, so yeah, that, so I'm pretty sure, I don't think we've had anyone else. I don't think so. I don't think we've had anyone else um, show up from the classic series. I think it's just been Sarah Jane and then, you know, later we had uh, the Brigadier. So, yeah. So, the inclusion of Joe Grant, I think that was that was just fun. I really liked that. And and then, yeah, with, with the inclusion of Joe Grant, you know, we have all these flashbacks to classic who and stuff like that and it's like oh it's it's so nice we get to see all their adventures we got to see tom baker we got to see uh uh john pertwee and we even saw patrick troughton and william hartnell you know they were there which i'm i i now i thought there there is something called like the three doctors some sort of uh a crossover between the first three um, so yeah, I, I saw bringing Patrick Troughton was with, uh, John Pertwee, and then, I don't know where the fuck William Hartnell was in that scene, but he was there. Um, I, I will say, I, I guess I didn't think about this, but technically we, we have brought someone else back from the classic series before. We brought back the Doctor. Uh, we brought back, uh, Peter Davison in that one minisode, Time Crash. So I guess that technically counts. Not a, he wasn't a companion, he was the doctor, but it still worked and I liked it. Um, so, yeah. So, I like that. We get all the memories and stuff like that. I, I completely forgot Joe's characterization. It's like, yeah, she is kind of dumb. It's like, I forgot that was her whole thing, was that she was kind of... She, I don't know, she wasn't the sharpest knife in the sock drawer. That's... The, the fuck did I just say? I don't know, it's like I was trying to make a joke about, you know, the old... Uh, knife... She's not the sharpest knife in the drawer. I decided to add socks in there to try to make it funnier. Was it funnier? Might have been funnier. So yeah, I, I like Joe Grant's inclusion. I, I do like she was she was helpful, I will say. Which you'd think she would be. She worked with Unit. But I don't know. I don't... All I've seen is her in Terror of the Autons, where... I mean, she was pretty similar, I have to say. She was pretty similar to how she was in there, so... And it's also cool because, you know, finally, Sarah Jane is someone to kind of relate to. Because, you know, the most she has seen... The only other companion she's really known, other than Harry, obviously, uh, was Rose. They did not get along at first. Um, but they started to, you know, connect a little bit and talk about the Doctor and being on the TARDIS and stuff like that. And that was definitely it, too. Like, even though 
she said that um, the two of them have, had never met, they kind of felt like long lost sisters, honestly. You know, and they kept talking, they kept bringing up stuff about the doctor. It, it was a little awkward when Sarah Jane said that um, she met the doctor a few times since he left her. Um, but yeah, that was. That was. It, it, it was pretty cool. I, I, I really do like the inclusion of Joe Grant. Um, so, yeah. And especially, too, because, like, you know, with everyone you could have brought back. Yeah, and you could have brought back literally anyone. You could have brought in Jack, for all we know. You know? Like, you could have brought in anyone. They brought back Joe Grant, and I like that. So, yeah. Um, I wrote down Clyde and the TARDIS. So, he did have residual uh, Archon energy from the TARDIS. And the Doctor utilized that in order to swap places with Clyde. Um, in order to get back to Earth. Oh, that was interesting. Hi. <laughs> Excuse me. Alright, so yeah, that was kind of interesting. And again, a little tie into uh, the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith. That was interesting, so yeah. <laughs> I wrote down Amy and Rory. Oh my gosh. I wrote down Amy and Rory. Um, I, I like the explanation as to why they're not in this episode. Because, yeah, like, okay, last time the Doctor showed up, he was between companions. Well, not even. He just didn't have a companion. So, so it worked. It was it, it worked out. Like, okay, it, it would just be him. He's kind of going on as, you know, I want to be alone thing. Um, but this time around, it's like, no, the last time we saw you, you had Amy and Rory. But I like that him saying, it's like, well, I just dropped them off on their honeymoon. Uh, which is, which I thought this place would be a nice, I thought this place was good for honeymoons. But it turns out it's not, it's actually a honeymoon. It's, it's very sticky, it collided with an asteroid. <laughs> I, I like that little explanation. It's fun. Uh, so, yeah. that's It's a good little explanation as to why Amy and Rory aren't there. Although, I think it would be cool to have... Uh, especially Amy interacting with uh, Sarah and Joe. Um, <laughs> especially... Because, you know... The whole, like... Weird rivalry, jealousy that... Uh, sarah and rose had in um school reunion it's like that might happen again if you bring in amy <laughs> it, it, it might happen again um cause just because of like i don't know i feel like that almost fits better with like amy's personality i don't know and then rory would just be there um oh yeah and we had freeing loris terrell in this as uh joe's grants oh god you know i just remembered the fucking smith and jones <laughs> did they do that just for the dumb smith and jones reference again is okay what is the joke with that i don't get it like they keep bringing it's like oh smith and jones and then you know you guys told me it's like well that's probably the reason why they married mickey to martha so it could be smith and jones and then here it's like all right smith and jones it's like what the f- Why is this a thing? I don't get it. Is it something from the classic series? I don't- mm, I don't know. I don't get it. It's just this random little thing they keep bringing up. My arm looks gigantic from this angle, doesn't it? Yeah, whatever. It's like, I, I know, I'm leaning back again, and I said I would stop doing that, but- Well, I'm leaning back and then onto the table. I feel like that still works. I don't know. Um, I like that, um, the doctor didn't watch over her. The doctor didn't watch over Joe, but he did, he did go check in on all of them the last time he regenerated. Um, which is interesting because they didn't, you know, they didn't show that. Um, but I like that, that he's, that he actually, even though we didn't see it, he actually went and checked in on all of his companions. So, yeah, I like that. 
Oh. I like that he did that, and I like that it's that he went and he wa- he looked after her. he checked in on Joe to make sure she was all right and stuff. And yeah, you know, he saw her entire family and her adventures and stuff like that. I like that. And yeah, it is a little awkward that, you know, oh, he met Sarah Jane after she was after leaving her and it's like, "Oh, you didn't meet Joe." It's like, "Fuck, he doesn't meet anyone." He doesn't. I think Sarah Jane is the only one he ever met again, honestly. Other than like Martha and Rose. But yeah, that Yeah, that's the thing is that which that's the thing he didn't expect to find her in school reunion and then um then he found her again uh in the wedding to go save her basically from the trickster and then and then the stolen earth they just kind of cross paths because of the daleks which was a thing the daleks was a thing and people keep for- fucking forgetting it we mentioned that last episode did joe not notice that (laughs) did joe not notice when the earth was stolen at least donna has an excuse she had her memory wiped like yeah joe didn't notice when the earth was taken to a different part of space uh um I wrote down 507 (laughs) when Clyde was like, how many times can you change? And he said 507. I know it's firmly established now, now that I've seen, especially like in the movie and stuff. The Doctor only has 13 regen... It's either... I always get this confused. It's either 13 regenerations or 13 lives. So he can either go for 13 complete lives... Or technically 14 after regenerating 13 times. It's one of the two. You guys you guys can clarify it in the comments and I'll probably forget again. But yeah, I'm I'm sure the the 507 was just him kind of BSing. But that would actually be funny if if that was actually true. It's like, nah, five five oh seven, what do you want? Eleven? It's like, oh jeez. Um this fucking colonel bitch like what the hell like why i don't know you orchestrate this whole thing to get the tardis why don't you just get reassigned to the moon base unit has a moon base go work there there's some excitement for you oh god you can see you can see my chair i normally keep this covered up well well all you see is the the there there's my hand i was like where's my hand it's i'm so white it blends into the freaking background all you can see is my hat and my uh my sword that i use in merlin so yeah the colonel was weird the colonel lady it's like oh she wants to go meet she wants to go into the stars it's like there's better ways to do that Yeah, there's better ways to do that, man. And then I wrote down companions. Let let me go back. I'm going to turn the subtitles on and listen to that last little bit about the companions. Tegan. Recognize her from Kinda. Ben and Polly. I don't know them. <laughs> yeah. Harry, I recognize. I don't. I don't recognize Dorothy. <laughs> oh. That's cool, man. So Ian and Barbara Chesterton, Chester, Chester, Chesterton. I always get his fucking name wrong. Uh, but yeah, Ian and Barbara. So they got married. Hey, Mazel Tov. 
I wonder if that's actually like a plot point. Like that's how they leave. Oh. I miss them. I miss I miss Susan. Ah, I miss Classic Who, man. I want to go back. But we're not there yet. We'll, we'll, we'll get there. But we're not there yet. In the meantime, I've got this to tide me over. Okay. This was a nice episode. For our little crossover with Doctor Who. That was nice. Will we have another one? I don't know. If we're going at one per season, I mean, next season's the last season, and it's it got cut short, unfortunately. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe Sarah Jane will be on Doctor Who. That'd be nice. This may be one of my favorite episodes from the series. <laughs> and it's so crazy because last episode was my least favorite. And it's like this one, I, I, this one's good. I really like this one. I don't know where I would put it uh, <laughs> among the trickster episodes. Because let's be honest, the trickster episodes are the best episodes. Um, yeah, I don't know where I would put this. Uh, I, I don't know where I would put this, but it's probably like top five maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. It was a nice nice love letter to Classic Who, which is which is incredible that it affects me this much considering oh, how much have I watched? We've done 9 videos of Classic Doctor Who. Uh two episodes. We did two episodes of the first Doctor. Uh then one of one of each after that. So 2 3 4 five six seven and then the movie so we've done nine episodes we, well we've done we've done eight episodes in the movie but we've done nine videos still nine videos is a decent amount you know to already get me happy about it yeah i mean just the fact that you know i'm feeling all this emotion for joe grant coming back i only seen her in one episode All right. Oh. This was nice. This was really nice. For an episode called Death of the Doctor, this was really nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, just as a reminder, next week we're back to our uh, normal... Uh, sarah jane doctor who overlap and then after that i think we're doing a week of just a week of two doctor who's and then we're just back to the rotation you know how it goes um so yeah with all that being said i'm alex from seventh hour films and i will see you guys next time take care all right guys thanks for watching this video if you want to watch more of my doctor who sarah jane reactions excuse me uh, you can click on the playlist, you can subscribe if you haven't done that already, and be sure you hit that notification bell. You can support me on Patreon, follow me on social media, links below in the description. See you guys later.